You want to get an edge on turning back the clock with just a few pills? Who doesn't? Well, it's no longer science fiction, but science possibility, a potential breakthrough. As I found out firsthand, there may be a way to erase years, at least inside my body. Granted, it's down the road, but some scientists are wondering if a new pill I took might offer a very long life. It may not look like the fountain of youth, but inside this nondescript building, I'm about to become part of an exciting experiment, a kind of guinea pig. Dr. McCord, okay. I'm here at the University of Colorado in Denver to meet Dr. Joe McCord, a world-renowned scientist. This is a pretty exciting stuff you're finding, huh? It is. We're very excited about it. His latest research could very well unravel the mystery of aging itself. And as decades of experiments may have the potential of adding years to people's lives and possibly prevent chronic diseases like cancer, diabetes, and heart disease. It all centers around this small yellow pill, and for me, it begins with a blood test. Here, can we scoop? Yeah, there we go. It wouldn't be the first time I've given blood for this company. <laughs> they want to check my levels of something called T-bars, which is a rough indicator of a person's actual age. T-bars can identify a condition known as oxidative stress, a kind of measure of the wear and tear on our bodies. Oxidative stress, like the rusting of an engine, is not a good thing. Bad for the body. Leading to disease. Leading to disease and leading to malfunction and importantly leading to what we call aging. It is a slow progression of increasing oxidative stress. That's the main characteristic biochemically of the aging process. The problem of aging begins with the very food we eat to give us energy. As our cells burn that food, they also release toxic chemicals. Those chemicals, you may know them as free radicals, react with all the components of our cells, literally bombarding them millions of times per second, damaging all our cells. The result? Oxidative stress, and we all have it. The body fights back with a system of defenses. It makes two antioxidant enzymes, catalase and SOD, whose job is to gobble up the free radicals before they can harm our cells. But as we get older, some of those toxic radicals overwhelm our enzymes and wreak their havoc. For a long time, scientists thought that antioxidant vitamins like C and E would lower it, but they don't. As it's turned out in just the last five years or so, we see that they're not good enough tools. They're not powerful enough. But this pill, he says, is powerful enough. In fact, many times more powerful. So doctor, how often do I take these? And so, here I go. With that swallow, I've just become part of a potentially landmark scientific experiment. Doesn't taste bad. <laughs> it's called Protandum, and tests on both mice and humans have already shown that it revs up the manufacture of those good enzymes in our bodies. More enzymes, fewer free radicals to harm us. Whether that will lead to longer life is still unknown. Experiments to see if mice live longer are about to get underway but it's a tantalizing theory. Right now, all we know is that this preparation decreases oxidative stress. Oxidative stress is not a disease, just like aging is not in itself a disease, but it's something that accompanies and is attached to, to many disease processes. Have you discovered the fountain of youth? Uh, I wouldn't put it that way, but we may have uh, discovered something that will tell us a lot more about how we age, what happens biochemically, and maybe how we can slow it down. So you can see the age related. In Normally, oxidative stress, measured by those T-bars, increases with age. But in Dr. McCord's tests, taking just one pill of protandum a day reversed that trend for everyone at every age, even for an 80-year-old. They all are reduced to the level of oxidative stress that one would expect frankly, in a, in a newborn or a very young child. Back to the oxidative stress levels of a child? It sounds too good to be true. Will Protandum work on me? Well, perhaps. It turns out there is some other promising evidence that seems to back up Dr. McCord's findings. 
That evidence comes from mice that have been genetically engineered to produce more catalase, one of the enzymes that protandum increases. The researcher, Dr. Douglas Wallace of the University of California at Irvine, says it had a remarkable effect. We found that they lived, in fact, about 20% longer, which is about a fifth of a lifespan. He believes that with better techniques, human lifespan can eventually be extended too. We might be able to increase the lifespan of a mammal by 50%. And of course, if that was a human being, then that might be in the order of 130 to 150 years. The scientific evidence is there. The pieces seem to make sense. The question is, does this translate into something that humans can take advantage of? So just what's in this seemingly incredible pill? Well, actually, its roots are very humble. Protandum is a combination of five plant ingredients. Some you may know, green tea or turmeric, a spice used in Indian cooking. Others, withania somnifera and Silibum marianum, are more exotic. There's a huge human experience with each of these ingredients. Uh, they've been used often in traditional medicine in India and in China and uh, many other cultures. In some cases, centuries and centuries. And so, ancient Eastern healing and modern Western medicine may soon be working together. High oxidative stress is associated with more than aging. It's been linked to hundreds of illnesses. It's at the very center of many diseases. Liver disease, diabetes, emphysema, asthma. Uh, uh, I've studied all of these, strokes, heart attacks. Even mental disease. Yes. Depression? Alzheimer's disease, depression. Dr. James Crapo with the National Jewish Medical Center in Denver is also researching protandum for the company. Are you saying that this could be a cure-all? You're looking at something that will have a, a, a small impact, uh, but an important impact. We make no claims about curing any disease or preventing any disease. Um, we hope that when enough studies are done, perhaps such claims might be able to be made in the future. Clinical studies to assess protandum in both diabetes and heart disease should start in three to four months. But what about everyone's old nemesis, aging itself? Well, it's all about balance between the good antioxidants and those toxic free radicals. And if we can tip that back, we may reduce some of the uh, bad side effects of aging. Why my skin is different than that of a baby, for example. That's a very obvious part of the aging process. Will this prevent wrinkles? <laughs> <laughs> well, you, know, you don't want to make false claims about sure, something. This... But the, uh, uh, could it produce wrinkles? It's always possible. But what about my progress? After nearly two weeks now, it's time to get my results. Dr. McCord calculates the numbers. The result, my level of oxidative stress has declined dramatically. 45%, that's, that's excellent. Just look at where I fall on the graph before and after. Which, if extrapolated back, is, is the level you would see in a newborn baby. Have we turned back the clock? Well, maybe not on the outside, but deep inside, within my cells. Yes, indeed. Would you suggest I keep taking this supplement? I would. Um, I can't guarantee it's going to extend your life. I can't guarantee it's going to uh, eliminate any diseases or cure any diseases. But we do know that oxidative stress is part of those disease processes. I don't want to wait until I'm 80 years old and find out that I should have taken it. The company that makes Protandum says its tests show the pill made from ingredients used for centuries is absolutely safe. But because it's being sold as a nutritional supplement and not a drug, Protandum does not need FDA approval for safety. For more, go to our website at abcnews.com.